Exceeding expectations is nothing new for Isaac and Tammy Lau, both born with what doctors call the terminal illness. This brother and sister duo continue to beat the odds in more ways than one. KITV4's Ashley Moser introduces us to this week's Hawaii MVPs. I lived to I was now, and now I proved them wrong. <laughs> What did you guys do yesterday, Isaac? Did you go swimming? For Tammy and Isaac, every day on this earth is a bonus day, a miracle. <laughs> Their small family of four lives a happy, comfortable life, but it was a very different story 35 years ago. Parents Norrin and Joanne had just given birth to a baby girl they named Tammy. The joys of having a healthy newborn quickly turned to constant worry and fear. My sister noticed that her eyes were rolling and said, um, looks like she's having trouble, so you better take her to check. And sure enough, it was congenital cataracts. The condition made little Tammy's vision blurry. She had surgery to correct it, but just a couple months later, doctors diagnosed her with another illness, a more serious one. Cerebral ataxia, which affects the brain, where your motor skills are involved so she is not able to balance and then it was very discouraging because the same thing happened to Isaac. Her younger brother Isaac, born two years later, also diagnosed with the same illness, a condition that doctors said would most likely take their lives in their mid-teens. It was a harsh reality, but the family continued to live as close to normal as they could. Both Tammy and Isaac went to school, even though at times it was hard for them to fit in. I looked around that night, saw everybody walking that night, and how come I'm not walking? But they turned those questions into challenges, things to overcome. Decades later, the dynamic duo has a list of accomplishments that outnumbers the list of challenges. Tammy spends time developing her artistic talents by painting and has printed her art on hundreds of greeting cards sent round the world. It feels good to know everybody likes my cards. Isaac has found his strengths in communication. He's learned American Sign Language, Korean, Chinese, and Japanese. Spin it. Each semester, he visits his old language classroom at Kapiolani Community College. He talks to students about his time in the class and encourages them to never give up. Using miles of thread, he also celebrates Japanese culture by Saudi weaving. He says it's symbolic to the way he views humanity. We are like the threads of life, and if we all come together and work and cooperate with each other and learn from each other will create a beautiful human weaving. Like so many in Hawaii, these siblings find their escape in the water. To get their exercise, they jump in the pool daily, swim about 10 laps back and forth using their upper body strength. But they say jumping in the pool is the only way they feel like they're actually using their legs. It feels like I'm free in the water. It kind of feels like no gravity and it takes the weight of your legs. At 34 and 32 years old, Tammy and Isaac show no signs of slowing down. They're an amazing example, inspiring to those around them, especially for their mother, Joanne. They have given me purpose and joy to move on and, um, you know, help others. Um, like Isaac said, it's not about thinking what you don't have, but be happy for what you do have. Ashley Moser, KITV4 News. That was a beautiful well, story. Well said by the mother. And, you know, those two just doing everything to inspire others doesn't get better than that. Yeah, living life to the fullest. Yeah. What a great story.